it's important for Barbies to look different. You know, like the, the real people in the world. This is radical because we're saying that there isn't this narrow standard of what a beautiful body looks like. When I look at the line now, one is taller than original Barbie, one is more petite, and one is curvier. It's going to be so much fun for the girls to really pick out dolls that they can relate to and that they connect with. I like them because this one looks like me and this one looks like my mom. This one looks like my friend Nan. Her name is Nan. They're seeing the differences amongst their friends and family being celebrated. We have to let girls know it doesn't matter what shape you come in, that anything is possible. When I grow up, I want to be a, a teacher if I have time. I like being a scientist. That makes me feel like I can do anything. This is what our future looks like because this is what the world looks like. It's kind of cool to have people look different. These dolls look like everyone I see walking by at the path of Wonderland. Knees up like a unicorn. Higher, higher. I've been to New York, Transylvania. A group of small islands in the middle of the Baltic Sea is home base for a local bank. For almost a hundred years, it's supported the families of farmers, sailors and fishermen living from the sea. Now, with 90 million people living around the Baltic Sea coastline, dumping a mix of toxins into its waters, the situation is critical and oxygen levels are alarmingly low. The seabed is being strangled to death and in parts, it's already dead. It's obvious, in order to care for our customers, we need to care for the sea. As a bank, we analyze data to try to understand risks. We also wanted to apply this behavior in an environmental perspective, in order to influence everyday decisions made by our customers. To enable this, the Bank of Åland developed the Baltic Sea Project credit card and the Åland Index. The index merges credit card transaction data with that of financial investment analysis and calculates the individual carbon footprint of each transaction. This alignment has created the world's first bank index for everyday environmental impact. The result is presented with the monthly bill, as are the options to compensate locally, globally or by lifestyle. Over time, you can track and compare your behavior with the national average. For all the status levels, the bank is now replacing all its credit cards in Finland and soon they will also be available in Sweden. But no man is an island. That's why the Bank of Åland is making the index available to any bank that believes that change is driven by insight, substantiated by data and created together. Kids love to use their hands. Kids explore the world with their hands. In India, they use their hands for one more thing. Eating food. Not washing their hands with soap is one of the main causes for illnesses and dropouts. So we gave shape to a simple idea. We infuse chalk sticks with soap.
Introducing Savlon Healthy Hands Chopsticks. These work just like regular chopsticks. But at lunch break, they did more than just writing. The chalk powder turned into soap on its own. Through such initiatives, Savlon Swast India is reaching out to schools across the country. Kids' health will now be in good hands, their own. Yes, I can, suddenly, yes, I can. Gee, I'm afraid to go on as turned into, yes, I can. Take a look, what do you see? 133 pounds of confidence, me. Got the feeling I can do anything, yes, I can. Something that sings in my blood is telling me, yes, I can. I was just born today, I can go all the way, yes, I can. 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 Hey, yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. Are you ready? I can climb Everest. Yes, I can. I can fight here all night and never rest. Yes, I can. I was just born today. I can go all the way. Yes, I always felt musical. It was something that was in my blood. I used to bang on pots and pans when I was like three, four years old. When you've been playing the drums for 45 years and you imagined in your basement, Thank you. 
เจอแบบสนามแบบนี้ตอนแรกผมก็นึกว่าเฮ้ยมันจะเล่นได้ไงวะแบบเออสนามมันมีบิดเบี้ยวเงี้ยพอได้เล่นมันแบบรู้สึกแปลกแบบมันได้เล่นแบบหลายมุมหลายที่อะไรเงี้ยผมชอบแบบพวกเพื่อนผมก็ชอบกันทุกคนเลยอยู่ฝั่งเดียวกันเราไม่เคยเจอกันเลยแล้วก็เลยมาเจอกันที่สนามเพราะว่าเด็กคือผู้ใหญ่ในวันข้างหน้าการที่ว่ามีสนามให้เขาออกกําลังกายมันจะลดปัญหาไปได้เยอะครับพ่อแม่เขาก็ลดความเป็นห่วงไม่ใช่แค่เรื่องของเด็กเรื่องเยาวชนนะคะมันจะส่งผลต่อผู้คนที่อยู่โดยรอบพื้นที่เล็กๆที่ถูกออกแบบนี้ด้วยะคะ่ะถ้าเราให้ความสําคัญกับพื้นที่ที่ไร้ประโยชน์พื้นที่ในชีวิตของทุกคนก็จะไม่มีคําว่าเปล่าประโยชน์These uh, refugee athletes uh, have uh, no national team to belong to. They have no flag uh, to march uh, behind. They have no national anthem to be played. Therefore, uh, we will welcome these uh, refugee athletes uh, to the Olympic Games with the Olympic flag and uh, with the Olympic anthem. Back in Orange is a symbol of solidarity with all these brave souls that had to cross the sea to look for safety in a new country. I had to wear one, so I have a I have a personal engagement with these uh, with the live vest, with these two colors. I'm proud to be English. But my family have served and we've defended this country and have been to war for this country. I'm I'm really patriotic about Bangladesh. Well, I am I am 100% Icelandic. Yeah, definitely. This is a Kurdish wedding with my mom in the traditional Kurdish clothes. Da, 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 da. We're just proud black, so that's it. Yeah, I think we are probably the best country in the world, if I'm honest. Think about other countries and other nationalities in the world. What, are there any that you you don't feel you You get on with well, or you you won't like particularly. Germany, yeah, I'm not a fan of the Germans. You might think they're a little bit. Particularly India and Pakistan, probably because of the whole, you know, the conflict. Because I have this side of me that's like, 
that hates mm. Turkish people. Not, not people, but the government. But French? No. We're just the best, you know, it's just fact. I'm more important than you. I don't know you, but in my opinion, I am strong and I am, I am more important than a lot of people. How would you feel about taking a journey based on your DNA? Um, yeah, I feel very uh, intrigued. What could you possibly tell me that I don't know? So do you know how DNA works? So you get half from mum and half from dad. So 50% from each of them, and they get 50% from their parents, and back and back and back. And all those little bits of your ancestor, they filter down to make you, you. I need you to spit in this tube for me. And you spit up to the little black line. That's a lot of spit. Right, the story of you is in that tube. What's it gonna tell me? It's going to be, oh yeah, you're French, and yeah. wait, your grandparents are French, and wait. 100% Bengali. Solid Iraqi. I'm Cuban. <laughs> you going to tell me that I'm English, like I've told you. Jay, can you come down and join us? I'm a little bit nervous, I have to say. So you ready to find out your results? Will you read it out to us, please? Wow, look at me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh, wow. Shit, I didn't expect that. <laughs> <laughs> All of them. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Caucasus, which was uh, Turkish? Yeah. <laughs> Eastern Europe, Spain, Portugal, Italy, Greece. I'm 32% British. <laughs> <laughs> what? Great Britain, 30%. Can we? 5% German. <laughs> I'm Irish. Yeah. So I'm a Muslim Jew. Great Britain, 11%. Are you sure these results are mine? Eastern Europe? Yeah. <laughs> Iceland has definitely moved closer to Europe now. I'm going to go a bit far right now, but this should be compulsory. There would be no such thing as like extremism in the world if people knew their heritage like that. Like, who would be stupid enough to think of such thing as like a pure race? In a way, we're all kind of cousins, in a broad sense. Mm. In a much more direct sense, you have a cousin in this room. Mm -mm. Turn around and guess who it is. <laughs> Wash? Yeah, what's that? Why don't you come down here and oh meet your cousin? God. This <laughs> Did you know that? I did no idea. This is like I, my heart's pounding right now. I swear to God. I'm <laughs> <laughs> Jay from everywhere, but I've to this. <laughs> I'm a real man of the world. Wow, that's beautiful. Thank you. So, would you like to travel to all of these places? <laughs> yeah. Oh <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> ايش حيقولوا عنك؟ انك مو المفروض تكوني هنا. انه ده مو ليكي. انه دي ما هي لعبتك. او يمكن يقولوا انك قوية. انه ما حد يقدر يوقفك. 
انك حتلاقي طريقك انك قدهم انك ابهرتيهم او يمكن يقولوا انك حتصيري شيء كبير Today, I'm living out one of my biggest dreams. That's right, I am a new cover girl. IKEA is a place for planning, planning a new home, planning the arrival of a new family member, deciding on a new kitchen, planning your future. But what if the future you had pictured was taken away from you? 25 square meters of Syria is an apartment at IKEA, but it is not one of the picture-perfect homes that are usually on display. The apartment is based on a real home outside Damascus, Syria. The home of Rana and her family of nine. The iconic posters and price tags tell the story of how people live, caught in the crossfire of Syria's civil war. How people line up for food parcels and medicines. How people survive. But most importantly, on every little tag, we let you know how you can help. Is this the land history promised? Here, within these lines. On this concrete court. This patch of turf. Here, you're defined by your actions. Not your looks or beliefs. Equality should have no boundaries. The bonds we find here should run past these lines. Opportunity should not discriminate. The ball should bounce the same for everyone. Worth should outshine color. If we can be equals here, we can be equals everywhere. There are more than 500 million illicit guns in the world. Every minute, someone is shot and killed. Uranium is a new metal made of recycled metal collected from weapons destruction programs. The metal is melted and molded into certified units and made available for commercial production. 
Gun-related violence is a global problem, one that is especially devastating to developing countries. The global cost of gun-related violence is $400 billion annually. The negative impact on society diminishes with each gun destroyed. As a result, humanium can truly be defined as the most valuable metal in the world. Every humanium-based product will create new funds for more weapons destruction programs and generate support to victims of gun-related violence. Brands and consumers alike can now be part of the solution to one of the world's greatest problems. Finally, peace has a price. This project has been initiated by I Am Swedish Development Partner. All proceeds from the selling of Humanium Metal will go towards weapons destruction programs and IAM's work in areas affected by gun-related violence. more than 80% in Metro Manila. As air pollution levels in the British We should see a region. huge environmental impact. And according to the World Health Organization, even trigger lung And so they're, they're once again topping the pollution well, charts. The situation in Beijing was the air air dirty records. Air Inc. is about capturing air pollution before it enters the environment from your cars, from your trucks, from your diesel generators that are spitting out this particulate matter and then converting that into inks of various sorts. We did the initial research and prototyping for this idea at the MIT Media Lab. For the last three years, we have been getting our hands dirty on the roads of Bangalore to solve this problem. After we are done capturing air pollution, we take it through a purification process and then we treat it with solvents to create printing inks. developing new ways to be able to paint and create without a negative effect on nature is an awesome idea. I'm so into it. There's so much pollution that just half an hour can paint an entire pair of shoes. I'm excited to work with something, uh, an ink that will merge both together, beauty and environmental awareness, a way to advance humanity and to save the space around us. At Graviki, we started as a small group of hackers supplying science, technology and creativity to solve hard problems. We thought, how can we take something that's totally undesirable, ugly and as bad as air pollution and turn it into something beautiful, something that everyone uses, as common as inks. So every stroke on paper that you make is essentially a quantification of that particulate matter you would have otherwise breathed in when you're walking outdoors. By backing us, you help us scale our pollution capture technology and bring air ink to as many people as possible. What's the best place for this carbon soot to go? Is it your lungs or is it something like inks that we make?
Universe believes happy, healthy babies need mama and papa. Papa. Chal. Papa. Mama. Papa. Mama.